trash for you guys today. Yeah, I got me some green thank you. Don't mind the coffee I just had as well. I'm a little hyper. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a much needed empty video for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while. They're not one of my biggest, um, most viewed videos I guess, but I really enjoy them and I know some people enjoy watching them. And yeah, so I just wanted to collect my trash for you because I love you guys that much. I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible because I know these videos can get really long and I have a lot of products in here so I don't want to keep you guys waiting for ever and ever. So let's just hop right in and start this. First thing I have is the Body Shop. Um, this is their Body Butter and Peach, I believe. Use it all up. I loved it. Um, I have like four of these that I need to use up. I feel like it's just really good. Uh, for an every day after I take a shower, say I have to leave right after, I don't use that because it's really thick and I have a hard time putting it, like, massaging into my skin. So I usually use that other moisture, but for nighttime or spa day or something, that's what I use is true and true and I love it and yeah it's the macadamia nut natural oil deep repair mask love this I always have one of those in my empty urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray excuse mine it's really dirty from being in my makeup bag um I use this all up I would be getting a call right now hold on sorry about that I got a phone call so what I was saying was I don't really use this stuff much anymore. The Olay Ultra Moisturizer Moisture with Shea Butter Body Wash. There we go, that's not full. Um, I don't like this stuff. I feel like it moisturizes pretty well with the scent. I feel like it smells like an old lady. I could not wait to use this up. I must admit, I might have used a little bit more than I needed to every time to get through this a lot faster. Won't repurchase that. Purity face wash from Philosophy. This take me, took me forever to finish. This took me like a year. And I'm quite worn out of it. So I probably won't repurchase this. I felt like it was a pretty good cleanser. Didn't break me out, didn't dry me out, but I am really tired of this. So maybe in the future I will repurchase it. But right now, I don't think so. This shampoo and conditioner of the Carol's Daughter um, 2. Color Care Hydrated Conditioner and Hydrating Sulfite Free Shampoo. This brand is killer. This is what I use for my hair. I don't use these ones anymore just because I'm letting my hair go natural. I don't know if you can tell, but up here is my natural color. And so I don't really need the color care anymore. Um, the next thing I have is, I always have these in my empties bag too, is the Tree Hut Shea Butter Body Scrub. This one's in Hawaiian. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It smells like, um, like a nutty kind of smell. It's really good and I love these for sugar scrubs. I feel like they exfoliate really well. Next thing I have is the Josie Marin Nourishing Argan Oil Daily Cleanser for all skin types. This took me a while to get through too and I originally got this to just remove eye makeup for when I was cleansing my skin at night and I slowly moved into using it once to remove my makeup and then using it again to cleanse my face and I'm really into cleansing oils right now for my skin and I loved it and I'll probably repurchase it someday down the road but I'm using the Origins one right now that I love a lot more. What I have is the First Aid Beauty Daily Face Cream. This was really good. Uh, my skin went through a phase recently when it was really, really dry and I couldn't give put enough moisture into it. So I got this off of one of the people at Sephora recommended it to me and I liked it. Next thing I have is another First Aid Beauty item. It's the Deep Cleanser Skin Rescue with Red Clay. Hated this. I couldn't use this up fast enough either. Um, felt like it dro dried my skin out and I don't feel like it really cleansed it. I, I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan of this at all. I know some people are, but I wasn't one of those, so I will not repurchase this. I have the All May Long Wear and Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover Pads. Hated these two. This took me a little while to get through because I didn't want to use them, but I felt like I should use them because I spent the money on them. These, I don't have a pad in here to show you. They come in like little pads. No, I don't have a pad. Um, 
and when you go to remove it, your eye makeup with a pad, it like feels like sandpaper on your eyes. It would hurt so much. And I did not, I felt like it got rid of the makeup really well, but my eye burned afterwards because it was like scraping at my eyelids. I don't know. It wasn't a good combo, did not like it, will not repurchase it. Next thing I have is the Origin Ginseng Eye Cream. It smells good, but um, didn't like this either. I don't feel like it did a lot for me. I mean, I guess I guess it moisturized. I don't feel like it depuffed or anything. I've used this in the past and I really did like it, but I didn't like it this time and I don't know why. So I probably won't repurchase this. Maybe someday down in the future I'll try it again and I'll, I'll love it and fall in love again, but this time around I didn't really like it. It's the Ole Hendrickson Afghan Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. This is a small bottle. I got this off recommendation. Actually, I got these two at the same time. They recommended those two for my skin at the time. And this actually was really good. I liked it a lot. I felt like it cleansed and I felt like um, I actually used the cleansing oil first to remove my makeup and then I used this and then I used that moisturizer. Uh, I felt like it was good. It wasn't anything stand out. I maybe we'll repurchase it someday down the road, but right now I have a cleansing oil that I'm loving. So. This is the Marc Jacobs Honey Perfume. It's dirty. Um, there's a little bit in the bottom, I don't know if you can tell, but I can't get it out, it won't come out, so I'm just saying, it's gone. But I loved this scent so, so much, and I just got Mary Kate and Ashley's line, Elizabeth and James, I think it's called, and I love those, but this, I will probably get a full size of this someday, again, just because I loved it so, so much. The Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and this is in medium, I think... They technically discontinued this powder, but they've recreated it and called it something else. I don't, I think it's like Dream Wonder or something like that, but it's basically the same thing. And I love that, and I used it for a while. I'm still trying to use up some of my other powders I have, but I would probably repurchase that in the future. Next thing I have is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. Um, I talked about this in another video. I don't know if it will be up yet or not. But I do not like that anymore. I used to love it. I got it originally off recommendation from um, Tiffany D, Makeup by Tiffany D, because she said she loved it for so long. And I used it and I loved it then. And then I repurchased it not too long ago and I hated it. It hated my skin. It gave me cystic acne. It dried my skin out. I don't know. We're just, we're not going together anymore. I can't use that stuff. It hurts my skin. So. I would not repurchase that, but maybe if you're really oily and not so combo like I am now, that you might like it, but it didn't work out for me. It's the CoverGirl, I think this is, yeah, the Flamed Out Mascara. I don't know what color I got. Ooh, brown Blaze, that's what I got. Some days I like to use brown mascara for more of a natural look. And I've had this, I don't even know how long I've had this, but you're only supposed to keep mascaras for three months, and this has been way, way farther than three months and I did not like this at all. This brush, I'll show you up close, if it will focus for me. I don't know if it will. Focus, focus, focus. I don't, you can kind of get the gif of what it looks like, that bend, it has like an hourglass wand. I could not get my lashes. I'd be going and shaking it up and wiggling it up and whatever. I could not get the center ones. I could get the outer ones, the ones on the outer corners really well. But I didn't like it at all, and I will not repurchase that. Benefit Professional Primer that's raved about. I don't really like this. I used it. When I first tried this out and I was starting to use it, I loved it. I thought it was the best thing in the world. And then as I got through, I'm like, you know what? This really doesn't do anything for me. I can still see my pores. It doesn't really keep me matte. It doesn't prolong my makeup or anything. So, I don't know. I don't really, I'm not really wowed by it, and I probably won't repurchase it. I have an hourglass primer that I love much more and I'll probably just use that. It's the L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and this is in the shade, or I think yeah, Carbon Black. I think they only come in one shade, the Carbon Black one. Um, again, I love this actually. This mascara was great. This is not the first time I bought this. It's just, it just looks like a regular wand and it's really good at being voluminous and if you really work up the products and use two coats or so. It's um, voluminous and then also gives you me pretty good benefit. They're real mascara. This is talked about and raved about a lot and for good reasons because I do really like it. I actually didn't like this when I first got it. I can't really see the wand. It's got like little sp 
spikes at the end of it so to really get up in there. But when I first got this product, I didn't like it at all. Um, the reason why I didn't like it was because it was too wet and I felt like it clumped up really easily. But the more time I let it just sit and the drier it got, the better, the more I loved it and I really, really did like it and I used it all up actually, which is surprising for me and mascara because I don't usually. Uh, but anywho, I really liked it a lot and I probably would repurchase that in the future. First thing I have is the Organic Wear Physician's Formula and Ultra Black. And this was raved about by Tati here on YouTube. I'm sure you guys all have heard of her. But I had to get it based on her recommendations. And I'm not a huge um, Physician's Formula fan, but I really like this mascara and I really basically used all this up. Stasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is in medium ash. I can't believe, I was so sad when I used this all up. I do have another tube of this, it's not really that sad, but I love this stuff. And somebody had told me that be careful because um, you might lose pull or pull out some of your brow hairs, this little spoolie at the end. I haven't had an issue with that. I'm looking through it to make sure none of my hairs are in there. Nope. I didn't really have an issue with it and I don't feel like it thinned out my brows or anything. But anywho, that is all my empties. I tried to make this video as short as possible and I hope you stayed to the end. And if you did, be sure to give it a like and to comment down that you finished it, the whole thing. And we will be in touch soon. Have a good day. Bye.